The Department of Environmental Quality says a parish-run utility company did not follow state reporting requirements for several sewage spills in a neighborhood that's been plagued with problems for years. North Shore Bureau Chief Ashley Rodriguez has the details in this eyewitness update. After Eyewitness News highlighted State Representative Paul Hollis's frustrations with yet another sewage overflow at its Mandeville neighborhood's lift station, the lawmaker asked the state to look into whether Tammany Utilities was meeting its duty to the public. A month later, a letter from the head of DEQ says the parish department failed to report to the agency, as required by law, at least five sewage spills documented by Hollis since 2012. I got to say, I really wasn't uh, surprised. I'm very disappointed. Uh, and I'm of the opinion that there's a lot more people in St. Tammany Parish and perhaps across the state that are enduring a problem that they shouldn't have to endure, especially in this day and age. While the letter says the findings have been forwarded to enforcement for possible action, the department's director of environmental services says it's already taking action against itself. We did not do a good job this time with the paperwork, but we go out and respond. And now there's a new policy book for how to better respond, which includes stepping up its own reporting requirements from the current quarterly deadline to notifying the state within 24 hours of any time a lift station malfunction results in a sewage spill. The department is also installing 80 auto alert systems on lift stations around the parish that will make crews aware of an issue, big or small, immediately. One of them is on the newly repaired and improved equipment in Hollis's neighborhood. But we want to go above and beyond that now because we want to be fully transparent. Now Hollis wants to find a solution statewide. He's starting by bringing legislation to the state capitol this session. And to come up with a seven member statewide uh, commission of experts to look at the problem and then present solutions uh, at the next legislative session. It's a long term goal Hollis hopes has a wide reaching effect, all from a small problem that turned out to be bigger than anyone realized. Ashley Rodri, Eyewitness News. And last week, the Department of Health and Hospitals identified a handful of violations with Tammany Utilities Water Services on the east end of the parish following other reports we've aired. Now, the parish says it requested that review and is already making the recommended changes.